Are you constantly stuck with errors like these when trying to trade in Rocket League? Then you're in the right place. I'm going to walk you through each step you need to fulfill before you can start trading on Rocket League. But before we begin, want your car to look fresh like this for cheaper than anywhere else? Do not go to the item shop. Head to rrpitstop.com to find almost every item in the game or as many credits as you want, cheaper than you can believe. Your items will be delivered quickly and safely and they have an amazing customer support team should you have any issues. Use code gaming tutorials for 5% off any order. Before we begin, some of the following steps you may have already completed, so just skip them if you have. Step 1. Enable 2FA. The first step is to enable two-factor authentication on your Epic Games account. Head to the Epic Games website, the link will be in the description, and log in to the Epic Games account you use to play Rocket League. If you are on console or on Steam, you can sign in with those accounts specifically to make it easier. Then go to Account, Password and Security, scroll to the bottom, and set up one of the three 2FA options. Once you have done this, as long as you've done it on the correct account, give it 10 minutes or so, but it may take longer, and this step should be complete. Step 2. Time in game. To be able to trade in Rocket League, you need to have at least 50 minutes of gameplay time in online matches. To find out how much gameplay time you have from the main menu of Rocket League, head to Profile, Career, Stats, and see time played. As long as it is 50 minutes or above, step 2 is complete. Please note that if you are trying to trade across multiple platforms, you need to have at least 50 minutes of game time on each platform. For example, if I bought an Xbox and wanted to trade on it as well as my PC and PlayStation, I would need to play 50 minutes of matches on Xbox before I could do so. Step 3. Purchase 500 credits. Sadly, before you can buy all of your items and credits cheaply from RL Pit Stop, you need to purchase at least 500 credits or esports tokens from the item shop to enable trading. Please note that if you played on your Rocket League account before it went free to play in September 2020, you do not need to do this step. For everyone else though, head to the item shop, hit buy credits and spend a painful but necessary £3.99 or however much in whatever currency you use. Once the payment has gone through, step 3 is complete. Step 4. XP level restrictions. To be able to trade, you need to be at least XP level 30 in the game. To see your XP level from the main menu in Rocket League, head to Profile, Career, Stats and see XP level. This may be different to your Rocket Pass level. Also, this step gets worse. When you reach XP level 30, you can only trade 3 times per day and up to 2000 credits at a time. If you want to be able to trade more, you need to reach XP level 100, where you are allowed to trade 10 times per day and up to 10,000 credits in each trade. But if you wish to have all these restrictions removed, you need to reach all the way to XP level 250, which allows you to trade as many times as you want and up to 100,000 credits per trade. This is the longest and most annoying step to complete if you want to get into trading. Step 5. Enable trading in settings. The final step is the quickest and easiest one to complete. By default, trading is disabled in settings. From the main menu, head to settings, interface, and then turn on the checkbox at the bottom to allow player to player trading. If you've completed each of the five steps, you should now be able to trade in Rocket League. <coughs> Time to head over to RL Pit Stop and get a ton of shiny new items. If for some reason you are still encountering issues when trying to trade, Post a comment outlining the error you are getting and I will try my hardest to help you. Thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe if this video helped you out.